And the third example, a toy car is made to scale with the actual car. If the ratio of the car to the toy is 15 inches to 0.5 millimeters, and the toy is 6 millimeters long, what would be the length of the actual car? So, um, the ratio of the car to the toy. So that means my word ratio is going to be car over the toy. Okay? So the car to the toy is 15 inches to 0 0.5 millimeters. And then again, I'm going to create a proportion. The toy is 6 millimeters. So the toy, that's the toy number, I'm going to put that on the bottom. What would be the length of the actual car? So that's going to go on the top, X. Okay. Now again, I'm going to cross, multiply. So here, 0 0.5 times X is 0 0.5 times x, or just 0.5x, equals 15 times 6. So we're going to have to solve that out. 15 times 6 says 0. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9. So this becomes 90. Now again, I want to know um, what I have to multiply to 0.5 or 0 0.5 to give me 90. So then I would have to divide 0 0.5. If I make this into a fraction, this is the same thing as divide, right? 0 0.5. So again, this is 90 divided by 0 0.5. I'm going to do that right here. 90 divided by 0 0.5. Okay, make sure that this top number is inside the house or inside this, okay? Now, to divide this, if you have a decimal on the outside, remember you have to move it to the end. Okay, I moved it one space. That means from here, this end of the number, since I don't see a decimal, it's always at the end. I have to move it, move this number one space. Well, then I have to fill this space with something, and that will be zero. This is my new decimal point right here. I'm going to bring that up. So then I have three spaces on top right here. Okay, so then now I can divide. Um, zero, five is the same thing as five, right? So five goes into nine one time. This is five. Subtract it. I get four. Bring down the zero. Five goes into 40 eight times. Okay, that becomes 40. If I subtract it, I get zero. Then I have to bring down this zero. 5 goes into 0, well, 0 times, and that's just 0 and 0, right? Okay, so then my answer becomes 180. x equals 180. So 0.5 times x equals 90. That means 0.5 times 180 equals 90. So again, my um, car then, because that's the top number, my x, right? That represents the car length, and that is going to be in inches, okay? So my car is 180 inches long. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching Educator.com.